हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल माई ट्विटर आप सभी का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपके अपने चैनल माई ट्विटर पर दोस्तों न्यू टू माई चैनल काइंडली सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू डोंट मिस द न्यू अपडेट्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर टूडेज टॉपिक ऑल राइट क्लास सो वी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द न्यू टॉपिक टूडे दैट इज एन पार्टिकल्स सो एन पार्टिकल्स इज अवेलेबल अंडर द सेट मेनू ऑफ एफ एक्स सो एस एन एस आई क्लिक ऑन एफ एक्स यू कैन सी my actual menu is getting change so what we can see here is different types of particles fluids cloth hair constraints fields and solvers pipe frost mash boss everything is been covered into this few settings which has to be taken care for particles and dynamics that is number 1 is we are not supposed to scrub this timeline in dynamics okay and number 2 we have to play this animation with the with the not with the real time like uh, when i say real time it is it is like into playback it is 24 fps into 1 real time play but when we are working with dynamics what we are going to do is we are going to change this playback speed to play every frame reason is very simple because the particles are going to generate in each and every frames so that is the reason i have in the beginning i said don't scrub it on the timeline because the generation of particles or the output what you'll see it will be incorrect so that is the thing what we have to take care before uh, starting with the n particles and uh, we will see now what is n particles so here is this option available in particles just click on this and uh, we have like two types of particles available one is emit and the other one is legacy particles now legacy particles are the older versions particles and uh, emit particles emit is like having like uh, n particles which is uh, like uh, as per the new versions which is updated all right both are one and the same but there is a difference between n particles and emitter i'll just show you give what the difference is i'll just click on create emitter that is one as well as i'll open uh, outliner also so that we can see what all things are available when i click on legacy particles so when i click on this what i can see is emitter as well as particle two things are available and when i'll go for n particles that is create emitter so what i can see here is i can see emitter to n particles as well as nucleus so that is the difference between a legacy particle and n particles all the options will be same but uh, in case of n particles where n is actually a nucleus it's a physics so when i say physics that deals with air gravity collision and a lot okay we have a lot of options available which we will see one by one once we'll start all right i hope this much is clear to everyone and uh, i'll just proceed with the next part that is starting with create emitter okay so i'll just click on this create emitter and uh, i'll press w for move and uh, that's it i'll just play this simple play button and this is going now what we can see here the particles has been emitted and uh, i can see it is falling down all right so let us see now you can see the options right from the channel box layer editor that is this one and we can go through with the outliner so in the outliner you can easily make it out different tabs are available emitter tab and particle tab nucleus tab so i'll just go for the emitter first and uh, what all options what i can see here is i can see is transform attributes then i have uh, basic emitter types okay and after that uh, distance and directions emissions volume emitters okay colors and all if i'll go with the n particle so what i can see here is i can see the shapes okay so i have this many lots of options available and coming up to the last part is the nucleus so nucleus what i can see i transform attributes gravity and wind a ground plane solver attributes time attributes and many more 
all right so that is it and what i'll do here is i'll just begin with the first of all the emitter now this transformation attribute deals with that where it has been placed you can see here in the translate value the x and y and z positions okay so you can play around with those things coming up to the next part is the emitter type that is omni now you can see the particles are right here it is not updated yet so each and every time in dynamics we are supposed to rewind that is we have to play it from the beginning and solve it again and the best part of maya is key uh, this is uh, like on the spot result when i say on the spot result means it is uh, calculated in the real time and you can get the result on the spot we are not going to like bake and all the stuff which is uh, done in other softwares all right so what we can see here is emitter type is omni so since there is an omni so omni means emitting the particles in all the direction but it is not going in all the direction it is going straight away downside uh, the reason behind this is key this is affected because of the gravity so if i'll get into the nucleus and uh, if i'll go here in the gravity and i'll make it the gravity value is zero that means there is no gravity acting on it right now so i'll rewind and play one more time now you can see here it is actually emitting in all directions so it was due to the factor of gravity it was coming down okay now this is actually 9.8 this is the real values All right, so this is how it is working on it. Direction you can define it is upside, downside. Okay, we got a air density also option. We'll come to this part sooner. So I'll go back to uh, back here in emitter, and you can see this emitter type. I can even decide how many number of particles per second it should be generated. Currently, it is generating hundred particles per second. So if I want to reduce to ten, for an example. So I'll go back. You can see here only 10 particles will be generated or released by the emitter. So that was that Omni option. We have this direction option also available. I'll just increase the number of values. I'll keep it 100. So as soon as I'll go for direction, so direction is something like this. It is one in one direction. Okay. I'll just go down, and what I can see here is the value is already given direction is x axis okay once this value is zero you can make it out actually perfectly how it goes so this is x direction okay this is minus x this is plus x This is y axis plus and this is minus y axis. Okay. And then I'll make this as zero. This is direction z axis. That is on this side it is right now. And we have spread values also. So I'll go here and I'll put it say one and I'll just increase the spreading. So this is spreading now. Okay. And we have this speed values also available. We can add random values for the speed. So each and every particles will have different different speed values. Now this is the next step is about uh, volume emitters. Now if I'll change the the emitter type from directional, this is as per the volume. So this is the volume which is kept here. I'll come to this surface part later on. Okay because currently there is no surface available and from where the particles are coming out so that is the reason it was not seen so i'm going to the volume option and the volume options as i said earlier also it is right over here rewind and play so that we can see the updates this is cube this one is sphere rewind and play this is sphere then you have torus sorry rewind and play
all right and we have this options available at uh, like uh, away from axis along with the axis around axis and all those options okay so these are the options available in emitters so this is how it is basically and uh, i'll go back to this omni back here again and uh, we can see it will be definitely in all directions so i'll just go here and again i'll make this value as 9.8 okay so this is emitter and uh, since we have changed a lot of values so that is the reason it is moving it in that direction fine so we'll see now n particle shape now what we can see here is the count now it is showing me the count count deals with what how many number of particles has been released then after that we have this lifespan lifespan is if i'll increase more and more this frame numbers or if i increase more range it will go on the life won't end okay the life of the particles it won't be end so if you want end the life of a particles so in that case we have this option available constant so this is a currently one second so each and every particle will die off in one second if i want to make it as two seconds it will go for the two second values so it will now take more time fine what if if you want to go for a random range so like for an example life is two and random range i'm giving it one here for an example so when i say one that means uh, two plus one is three and two minus one is one so the range will be from one to three for a lifespan so I'll rewind and play. So each and every particles will die before and after. So you can see at the bottom, some particles are getting died before that also. All right. Uh, the type of particle, what we see here, it's like points, right? So if I wish to change the points also, I can do that. So for that, I need to get into this shading option. And into shadings i have particle render type that is points as i said earlier so now what i'll do here is i'll just rewind and i'll change it to spheres for an example okay so rewind and play so now you can see the particles is in sphere shape okay look at this it is perfectly a sphere shape next if i want to increase the size of the particle so i have a particle size option available here so i can have it say like a control left mouse button so you can go like into decimal values one two so this is how it will affect okay control left mouse button that is a shortcut key for like entering the values in decimals so this is how the radius is increased fine and uh, we have this radius scale option also available but uh, if i'll change the values like this i'll just change some value so there has to be some change in uh, like for an example in the size uh, there has to be some change in the size but after changing also it is not changing here i can here i can't see the update i'll just rewind and play so it has all the sizes are same but to get the result we are supposed to change the values in radius scale input here so what i'll do here is i'll just make it for an example as per the age so now this the result what we see here is as per the age in the beginning it's complete size whatever size i have kept it after that it goes on reducing then you have normal size okay 
then I have speed so this goes as per the speed acceleration particle ID and randomized ID so this works like this so with the help of randomized ID I can see random values has been accepted by rent by different different ideas so I can check with this input max value how high it should work Okay, you can even use this scale randomize. Right, so that is it, and this is how it is going to come up. This is so everything has been decided by us only. We just decide which one is perfect for us. I'll make it point two. Right. This is fair enough. Now you can see here good scaling size, differ different size I can see. And because of the life, I can see it is getting over it at particular times also. So one, two, three, that is there also that that option is also we can see here. Along with that, I can see one more option which is collision. So I can see this collision self collide if I make it out see each and every particle will start colliding with each other okay we have this colliding strength colliding layers and even we have this color option also available to see it the solvers are perfectly working or not okay so that is to check with this we have this bouncing friction and all this option also available if I'll get into this dynamic properties if I want to get rid of wind, so wind won't be affecting, ignore solver gravity, it will ignore this gravity value. So this is how you can actually check it out, okay, how it is going to uh, see when there is no gravity. So this is how it will come up. All right. Next what we have is we have one plane option also available. I think that is in nucleus. Yeah. So I can just put this plane on nucleus. So now everything will come on this plane surface and it will start going. How much bouncing do you want to keep it on? So it will start bouncing after hitting the surface. If you wish to have plane friction so you can get plane friction also for that all right if i'll increase this value from two to four so we can see exactly how it is going to collect and how it is going to react all right so this is how uh, we have seen like different different uh, values how it is going to affect your and particles where are the shape options available where are, where is the emitter option is available what all thing what all things are included in nucleus and all okay i hope introduction to n particles in maya is understood so subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for new updates click on thumbs up for like and share it with your friends if any queries write it in the comment box thank you so much for watching my video milte hai kuch aur extra tips and tricks ke sath agle video mein thank you